Prozek holding up. You know, I was thinking about all of the subs that have come into this game for both teams have just... Knut Allender and Gabriel Costa loads up the cross back post, oh. popped back, header in, it's in off a duck. Certainly hard to argue with the result tonight that they are still one of the best teams in the conference. Here's Trevega. Played back, Dorado's challenging. Can't get to keep keep it in play he does loads up the cross into the box Arcangeli is there knocked back and cleared away by SMU around the corner and walking in one-on-one -on -one with Alex Lopez Try to slide that one away by Trevega start something for SMU a long run by Hart SMU with the recent possession has been able to do a better job of evening out the shots Mustangs trying to be patient coming out of the back and you see the Billikens pressing forward playing a little bit higher there So what I think they would like him to do Forward Wyatt Play on the referee was Yeah, you can see USF now they're snapping Into tackles they're getting tighter and they're causing problems Rosano nearly turned it around and gave himself a chance. SMU with the tackle. Wyatt. Trying to run down that sideline, knocked out from underneath him, and it'll be a throw in for Zolta. Kaleke again, so strong. So good. The give and go. He is taken out by a nice defensive play there from. Kim Keller there to step in the way. Sliding tackle made by Tervega. They play it short. Wyatt is there for that option. Curled high in the air to back post and headed away. Good win in the air by Tervega in the back of the must trick against against USF. Yet to crack with a goal this season. And, you know, especially for a senior, man, look at Tervega get up there. My goodness. Yeah, he really climbed the... Here by Tervega. Notice. Notice. It's Cosimera, an exciting freshman, playing it to the back post. It's all the way through. O'Leary, another freshman, goes to... Goes to... Reinhardt leaves it on that left side. Back into the middle. Not able to get much of that one was... Much. SMU able to avoid shot here from Tulsa. It's a moment. A little too high there, intended for Marhart, and it goes out. Watch. Watch. You don't run up to the goal kicks. You don't run to punt the ball away. But you also can't just sit there and hold the ball for an hour and a half, or you'll end up getting a lay. The building as as uh, they will during this COVID right. point uh, in time, and, and that really put a halt to the great season that SMU was having. It did, and all through the season, it's going to be the case. But if you're the opposing team, seeing a goalie getting his first college start, I think you bomb shots at him from straight. That his teammate for uh, for the equalizer in the left side of the net. Helps Endoy open his account in his junior season, and quite a day. Half ended up on the ground two or three times. Keegan Hughes just plays it down on the free kick. Up in the air, it's headed away by SMU's Brandon Turvega. Get some water, some water, get some rest, and come back for a final push. Exactly. You can bet your life you have not seen the last of those guys. No. Zach Ryan with 26 goals over the course of his... The, their raw ability to attack you offensively, I would think. Nice job by Lane Warrington getting down into the corner to pinch that back and force... Uh, at, F at FIU, he was good at scoring goals. His previous trip. Speaking of trips, there's another one into the box. BB. Goal. He's started all 11 games now. 
little run, and he's right. Again, I think O'Leary's been terrific for the Owls tonight. Um, you know, the Temple defense has been a little bit under siege this evening. Johnson slides tonight. Notice. Here comes Malik Henry Scott. Doesn't have the numbers. He'll have to do it himself. Tries the shot, but it's deflected away. Up to my heart. My heart. They got to keep out from underneath him. And look who's there again. Will not go past me. Right at the corner of the box. A little bit of space. Wyatt. Trying to run down that sideline, knocked out from underneath him, and it'll be a throw in for Tulsa. The leg again, so strong. Cover for, the cover for them in the space that they vacated. Denver with dangerous players, though, too. And the Pioneers still is called yet at, the, yet at the same time as it's taken back over by Keith. Tingy here. There's a little opportunity. Zach Ryan, very dangerous, going far post and just too strong. Lizenis. Now for the senior hot W. Barry. Luca Dorado tripped up and Brandon Tervega wins the battle. Interesting that Luca won MLS Super Draft. Nikki Hernandez drafted 15th overall by FC Dallas. We'll get back to that. Dorado. Turns and fires, and that one will end up going out of play for a throw. A throw. Why not? Get a Why not? Straight. Boy, how about this? Side. Barkley. 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 Probably had some space there where he could use another defender as a screen and pull the trigger on a shot, and he certainly has the ability to strike the ball from 30 yards plus. It's there where he could turn into a scoring opportunity as Rosa is off to the races for UCF. He replaced the injured Grant Michaela in goal. Tervega scores. Confident. The M barely nicked it. Here's Allender trying to curl one down and it's a goal! It went off of Haney and then onto the foot of Brandon Tervega. You don't always have to use your hands, you can use your feet as well as a goalkeeper, whatever you need to keep it out. Brilliant serve, and the finish for SMU. To lift SMU over Memphis, right out front, deflected, and a score! SMU.